my lips look so like my cousin. I have a cousin and she's beautiful. She has black hair and I remember when I was a child I was watching her applying the lip pencil and then lipstick and she wore these colors a bit more to brown because it was the 90s and that was the lip color and now when I smile I see her smile her lips ready to party well I wish I had a voice enough said right hello everyone welcome back to my channel I'm super happy that you're back as my beloved guests. Today I'm going to talk about a makeup that is very suited for the ladies that have very dark hair, uh, dark eyes, but very pale skin. And I am doing a makeup on my friend Alina. Weirdly enough, her name is Alina, like my other friend that I did makeup on in my previous video. I'm going to show you a range of colors that are very well suited for this type of natural colors and I really hope that you will enjoy it. Now, I encourage you to stay until the end because at the end I will talk about what I am planning for the month of March, which I really think that it's exciting. So I invite you to stay until the end of the video, also to subscribe, push the notification button and share this video. See you at the end. So this time I'm starting the makeup with the eyes because I know that I will be using very pigmented shadows which might fall on Alina's under eyes so I want to make sure that this look is going to be clean and bright for her. I am using the Urban Decay Primer and mixing it with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 with a synthetic fluffy brush to create a resistant base that also covers any coloration of the lid. Next, I am setting the entire lid with powder. My friend Alina is a gorgeous brunette with pale, perfect skin, so I want to make her natural colors pop. This is why I'm using deep rosy tones and I am starting with a transition color from the nude Huda Beauty palette and the Precision Blender brush from Sigma. Since she has a hooded lid, I am focusing to create a V-shape on the outer corner of her eye, which will help me start creating a new crease higher than her natural one. And this is what will make her eyes look bigger and deeper. After creating the V-shape, I blend it a bit into the crease with a fluffy brush, taking the shadow into the new crease that I started lining. Next, with a short-haired flat brush, I am applying a shadow resembling the skin color on the first third of the inner corner of the lid, as I want to keep this part clean while I place a sparkly light bronze shadow in the middle of the lid. This sparkly shadow will help catch the light and will contrast with Alina's dark eyes, making them really pop. With another flat brush, I am picking up a bright shadow to lighten her underbrow and then I decided to lighten her inner corner as well and make her eyes pop even more. It's time to even out the beautiful skin and I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I apply it with a triangular disposable sponge that I dampened with some thermal water from a vent. After foundation I always apply concealer and because Alina has dark circles because she doesn't get enough sleep. I'm combining the NC15 concealer from MAC with the light medium shape tape concealer from Tarte which has a salmon color and this is actually the ingredient that helps neutralize the darkness under her eyes. After 
after setting the under eye with a brush from Real Techniques so it doesn't crease, I go to contouring. Alina has a round shaped face which is gorgeous and will definitely help her look younger than she is for a long time, but when I do her makeup I always use techniques to help it look more oval, more elongated. To contour, I'm using the multi-purpose concealer from Too Faced and I create a line from the upper side of her ear towards her upper lip and I stop around the middle of her cheek, right around where the end of the eye is and I always blend it upwards for a lifting effect and to create a nice balance of the contour, I take it to the sides of her forehead and also under her jawline. As you know the rule, always creams before powder. I am setting all the face to create a long-lasting makeup and I am using again the Laura Mercier powder. Continuing with powder products, I am using the Dior Backstage palette using the two light shadows to bring back the 3D dimension of the face. What is left on the brush, I take it above the brows, as I really think that this small trick creates a beautiful gloss clear skin effect when she turns her face to the sides. After finalizing the base, I go back to finishing the eye look, so I apply the same shadows in the same order on the lower lid, but after each application I always go back with the blending brush to buff out the edges and interconnect the lower to the upper lid. I simply love how beautiful this step contours the eye, don't you think? And for an extra pop of light, I apply the same rosy sparkly shadow on the inner corner of the lower lid, but not too low, so I don't make the eye look sweaty or fallen, or it's too much brightness under that area can do that. So I went off camera and contoured her brows and at this point this is a perfect day makeup but I want to create a deeper look that makes her eyes stand out. So with a flat brush I am applying a deep rose shadow right at the base of her lashes, blending it upwards. And look how gorgeous it makes her eyes. So, along the years I've done Alina's makeup many times and out of all colors I've applied on Alina's lids, this combination works best. So for all the ladies out there with dark hair and dark eyes but very pale skin, I do recommend using this range of colors from rosy pinks to deep rose because they just work like magic. I finish off the eyes and I apply multiple layers of mascara because Alina has short lashes and I want to elongate those without applying any false eyelashes. And then I go to applying the blush, which is again a deep rose color from MAC. And because I always look for the entire makeup to have a balance, I focus on the cheeks, but whatever is left on the brush, I apply it on the nose, on the sides of the forehead, and even on the jawline. As you can see, Alina has beautiful full lips, so I use a lip pencil from NYX, very similar to her natural color, and then I combine Back in Vogue from MAC with the Polite Rose shade from Wycon. And 
and this is the final look guys i think she is so beautiful and i'm super happy that we we got to do this on camera we had a lot of fun so thank you very much alina isn't she gorgeous i really think she's astonishing and that sort of color looks really really good on her eyes and her skin amazing so in the beginning of the video i was telling you that i'm going to tell you what are my plans for the videos for the month of march and for the whole month of march i'm going to film all the videos in my native language which is romanian and also i'm going to have some guests some amazing ladies that are specialists in their domains and we are going to chat and talk about makeup but also about their domain so if you're curious who is going to be invited make sure you stay tuned to my channel and i'll see you very soon bye